Hello everyone, Jet here and today I will show you how to easily create book covers in BookBolt. What is BookBolt by the way? BookBolt is a print-on-demand service to those who want no material books to be published. It's got lots of very valuable features and one of them is the cover creator. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't like Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator or Affinity Publisher level, but if you're just creating very simple book covers and want it fast and easy, BookBolt does the job. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos like this and you might want to check out my other tutorials on how to create book covers in Photoshop, Canva, and Affinity Publisher. Links are in the description down below. One more thing if you want to try BookBolt I have the link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Okie dokie, hope you're ready and let's get on with it. Alright, so now I'm inside BookBolt Designer and this template is for 6x9 black and white and 30 pages. So if you want to create another one, just go to change product here. Just click on this one. For the cover, you just choose cover. The trim size, here are your sizes. And the paper color that you're going to use and the page count and then just click on submit. All right, so this is six by nine. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you two book cover design. One is a plain one, and the other one is with patterns. So first, I'm gonna do the pattern. So on this side, these are all your tools. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to my images, and I have all my images here, which I'm gonna use for my patterns. Oh, you can also use the shapes over here. If you go to shapes, and you can use all of these shapes here for your patterns. Since I already have some of the images here, I'm just gonna use one of them. And if you want to use yours, just drag it from your computer, from your desktop, or wherever you put your images, and drag it on this box here. So I'm gonna use this flower, and I'm just gonna resize this to about this size and just put it anywhere or place it anywhere and if you go to this top right menu you'll see patterns we've got grid repeat we've got vertical bricks repeat horizontal brick repeat and it's up to you just play around with these patterns and I personally like vertical bricks repeat and it will go something like this so now that you have this you can leave it like that or put it something maybe um, I go to shape and then just put this rectangle here and I resize it. It's going to resize it to here and then move it over here. Maybe change the color to pink. Yeah, something like that. So the next thing you're going to do is put text on it. These are the fonts that you can use and you can load more. So for example, let's just do this one. And what you can do is double click on this one to change um, the text or you can also go to this text here and then just write your book cover. And we can drag it right over here and then we can also change the color by going to here and maybe white. There you go. You can also change the, the font after if you don't like this kind of font. If you want a spine, just add it here or a different color, spine different color. You can add it here and if you have your logo, you can also add somewhere. You can add it here somewhere and some text over here. Just put something like this box so that your text would pop out. So this is one thing that you can um, design a book cover here on BookBolt. So let's do another one. We can discard the pattern altogether or you can go to change product or also you can click this reset to default design. All right, so now that we have this one, we go to shapes and then use this. I'll just drag this here like so and all the way there you go now I want to change that color to say let's add another color maybe something like this color and then I go to my images I want to add this so there's one feature that I like really like in book bold if I have image like this and I've got this background and I want to take this background in I just go to remove background and all the way here and it clears away all my background now I go to text and then I can use one of this okay and then I'll change it to maybe yoga and update it now I'll go to this color that's okay and I put it here this way just make sure that it doesn't go out of these orange lines here so that's it and then I'll put another one the journal then just drag it down here maybe change the color to white and you can also actually add a stroke 
which I don't want anyway. So there you go. And this is the plainest and very simple, fast, easy way to create covers. And again, I can also put my logo. This is actually just a simple logo that I created for all my tutorials. So there you go. And you can also put your text over here. So there you have it. This is one way and the other one is the pattern covers. And there you have it, fast and easy. Hope you learned something and if you like this video, please help me out by subscribing and sharing this on social media, your blog, or anywhere really. I truly appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, drop them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye!